Welcome back. So as you can see, I've cut a hole in the top of the keel here in the back in order to get to where these pulleys were. And as you may have already guessed by now, uh, my plan is to see if I can get the pulleys working. So um, yeah, I'm trying to think outside the box. So the problem here is that where the pulleys mount, they're too far back um, to brace them up and it's still too difficult to get to them to actually brace them up. So what my thinking is, if I put larger pulleys in here, I'll be able to have the mounting point a little bit forward and then be able to pick up the sides of the keel here which you'll see here uh, in a second. So anyway, cut that hole. It took quite a while because the carbon fiber is super thick here and if you were watching a while back, um, these were the two panels here that, that never really mated very well for some reason and so we ended up filling the gap with a bunch of carbon and so cutting that out took quite a while as you can imagine. So this is what I'm sort of planning and you know obviously I laid it out in CAD first. These larger uh, diameter pulleys are about five and a half inches diameter. If I move them forward a little bit I can have the uh, like a solid half inch mounting rod and the reason I'm going with these pulleys is because they actually have like a half inch ID bearing in them whereas the other ones are only quarter inch and a quarter inch rod would just flex like you know way too much so half inch rod uh, shouldn't flex and I'm also going to sleeve it in the middle with a spacer that's um, probably going to be three quarter inch and that'll prevent it from flexing but as you can see there the the back of the pulley not quite in line with the other one and the allowance there for where the cable runs up to the upper pulley is a three uh, degree maximum uh, misalignment so with how I have it right now it's about uh, two and a quarter degrees uh, misalignment so that should still work fine so uh, I've taken the pulleys out of there now, as you can see, and starting to think about how I'm going to drill the hole in the keel there. And so that my idea is going to be to make a little bit of a, a fixture that will sit in between there and index off of the existing hole and then have another hole in the side of it. And that'll allow me to drill uh, into the keel there. So anyway, that's just showing you the old pulleys there. And this is my sort of template for the new pulley. And I've sort of cut some chunks out there because I probably still need to uh, make a little bit of a clearance on the front of the keel there, just where the pulley is going to be. As you can see there, the top should be okay. I might have to clearance it a little bit there, but the front is still a little bit too... Uh, not enough you know clearance in the keel there so that'll come out once I get the pulleys there um, just notch that out there a little bit and the pencil kind of shows uh, the, how the rod will be oriented there just sort of parallel to the back bulkhead and this is not actually the rod that I'm going to use but it's basically the same half inch diameter and it'll end up this one will end up being about 10 inches long so the hole I have to drill through the side there is half an inch uh, diameter and it'll just carry all the way through from one side to the other and then some spacers um, to hold the pulleys in the right position and they'll actually sit inside of the existing pulley brackets there so I don't have to try and get in there and cut those out which would be difficult at best so really all I have to do now is just uh, you know create this little jig that will allow me to you know put a nice parallel hole there uh, you know parallel to the back bulkhead and obviously horizontal through this thick bit of carbon there and you can see there's plenty of carbon there it's going to be rock solid there's no way that that's going to flex so the only thing i have to worry about is the rod itself flexing and up front here the same type of story um i'm going to basically do the same thing have a solid rod that runs all the way from one side of the keel to the other and have it pick up the same size pulleys again and you know I could go with smaller pulleys but they just don't make them in that size to have uh, the larger inner diameter bearing of a half inch so I'm just gonna have to go with a large one so in the CAD this is what that'll look like same type of thing ignore the alignment in there I just didn't bother to try and get it all sort of lined up perfectly but basically it's gonna what it's gonna look like and again I'll put a spacer sleeve around that center rod there to keep the bit the uh, pulleys spaced out correctly and that spacer uh, rod there will be also steel just steel tube 
and you know close tolerance and stuff so it it should uh, add some extra rigidity to the whole uh, solid rod going between the two there and then I'll just thread the ends and put some bolts and, and washers to hold them so this is the the pulley that I'm getting and it turns out it's from Royal Mark and I've talked to the guys there and I've, I've ordered it it's because not many people have these pulleys it's a special order so they're going to try and rush it uh, they no one actually had any in stock uh, so I've, uh, they they said they should be able to have them ready by either Friday or Monday and then ship them out so I should have them by about sort of Thursday next week and be able to complete this little project and uh, you know get my cabling all done once the pulleys are in and before I forget I did want to thank everybody who put a positive comment on the last video there was lots of you and also you know quite a lot of people email me I just too many to respond to uh, with suggestions on how to resolve this and you know I think doing it with the pulleys and getting the pulleys working is the best solution uh, and the only thing that may stop me is that we just don't have enough throw uh, and so the play any bit of stretch in the cables may end up sort of being exaggerated by the fact that there's not that much throw going on in the cables and I could possibly address that by changing the um, the point where the stick attaches to the center stick um, up in the underneath the dash but I will leave that till after I get all this done just to see how it turns out so what I'm doing here is just making a little um, template out of cardboard for what this little fixture jig is going to be for you know helping me drill that hole in the right place so got that little cardboard in place and then just with a pencil through the existing hole in one of the brackets there just marking where that is and you know once I've done that I can basically punch that hole through the cardboard just using my little step drill just take it out to quarter inch which is what I'm doing there and and then I can you know use that to create an actual fixture and I've already sort of figured out in CAD what where the position needs to be. It's basically coming two inches forward and one inch up. And that gets me in a nice position there where I can get the hole through the sides of the keel and have enough clearance between the where the hole is and the forward part of the bulkhead in order to slide the rod through there uh, without having to sort of have it you know, completely jammed up against the front of the bulkhead because ultimately this rod has to slide in from one side or another and you know has to clear that bracket that's there that little metal bracket which sort of holds all those other cables in place there um, the top of that I've just removed it for now just it's easy to deal with it so there's my little template and I've just put it on a piece of half inch FR4 there and I uh, just you know cut that to size and then drill the hole in there so I'm not gonna actually do that hole yet until a little bit later I just wanted to make sure that I got the the pulleys ordered and everything else sorted out before I drill the alignment hole but just as a test fit there you can see I've got it sitting in one side and I've got an AN4 bolt running through there so just have to mark out where that hole is going to be and then what I'll do is I'll tighten up the bolt on the uh, bracket so the little fixture is not going to move and then I'll be able to just you know put my drill bit through that that new hole that will be in there the quarter inch hole and just carefully run it that way and it should give us a nice parallel hole on both sides and I'll be able to use the same thing up in the front here although it'll have a different hole and I haven't figured out exactly where that one's going to be yet um, I'm going to do that later on so while that's all going on and I'm waiting on those pulleys to arrive I've started on this other project and this is a uh, counterweighting the elevator so I've removed that uh, little bell crank that's there and that's the one there and I'm going to be welding on part of this length here to that or at least Brit's going to be welding it on for me so I've got to create some supporting brackets that are going to help that so that's the top one there that'll sort of fill in around there and that'll brace that up and then underneath it the bottom one is going to carry all the way down to the bottom so really beef up that thing because it's going to be carrying all the loads of this weight uh, all the way out to the elevators and then ultimately I'll attach the weight at the end there but that won't come until later on so uh, that's an update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching. And again, thanks to everybody who commented and emailed me. I really appreciate it. And I uh, will see you again on the weekend.